back to the charts with Big Boss Crypto, bringing you another day trading analysis on Bitcoin and on Chainlink. Bitcoin is pumping to the upside. It broke up all the way to 57k. If you saw my video from seven days ago, I told you Bitcoin might go to 55k in the next move to the upside. It broke that and moved all the way up to 57k. So where do we go from next? Well, let's look at a chart. So Bitcoin moved nicely to the upside. And as you know, I told you seven days ago when we were at, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When we're around 50K, I told you that we're going to 55K in the next move to the upside. So in this video, I might tell you that we might possibly go to 59K in the next move to the upside. There or there about. 59k is the next target possibly, but before we get to 55k, I do think we need to have a retrace to the upside because we have a big volume candle to the upside. Green one, we need to recover some of it at least. Might possibly go to 54k and then the next push to 59k might happen during the end of this week. But we have to wait and see before that actually happens. So yeah, we move nicely in the market make structure. We're still waiting for a double top formation. As you can see, nowhere near a double top formation, uh, no matter how you look at it. So 59K is the next target. If you look at four hour time frame, you will find a volume candle in that zone, which has been unrecovered. So 59K, possibly the next target, not financial advice, this is just for education and entertainment purpose only, but I'm waiting for a retrace to the downside. And then we might push towards 59k towards the end of the week. Look at the news events. Today we have consumer confidence, and durable goods, uh, which might give us an indication of where inflation is going. Uh, the next big day, however, is on Thursday when we have the unemployment claims and especially core PCE, which the Fed says uh, is the biggest uh, n number or the biggest news event they're looking for each month uh, because that dictates their uh, decision uh, on the federal funds rate. So be very mindful of Thursday and if you're in positions around this time uh, you have to consider your risk. And looking at the liquidation map we can see a lot of people shorting in this weak area right here. As you can see, 20 million around the 57k area. We also have some below 24 million at 55.6, a cluster of 55, and a cluster of 54. So, we might have a sweep to the downside, and then we might move, grab this last liquidity zone around 57 to 59k, and then we might form a double top formation. But that's in the future. Currently, we're expecting something to happen to the downside, possibly not financial advice for Bitcoin. Now let's take a look at Chainlink. So Chainlink, not much has happened since we spoke last time. We're still in an accumulation zone uh, for Chainlink. We were trailing from $16 to $12 for a while. Now it seems that we're somewhere between $17 and $20 and that might continue for a while as well before we get a sharp move to the upside or to the downside for Bitcoin. So the next target to the upside is pretty close, as you can see. On the weekly time frame, we have a volume candle from $25 down to $20. And I do think in the next move to the upside, if Bitcoin goes to the 59K mark, I do think we might have a push to the upside, have a rephrase, push all the way up to 25, and then we might move to the downside again, possibly. Uh, also, if you see a clear double top formation uh, forming in the future, uh, this is the local lows to look out for uh, currently. $17.6, break that on data from the hole below it. Uh, we have somewhat of a double top formation. I don't think it's going to happen pretty soon, but you have to watch out for this. If we move sharply down from here, then we have the market make structure to the downside in three steps as you know and then we might go to $12 again but 
currently we don't see a double top formation yet we trade on confirmation not financialized but you you do whatever you want to do but as you can see we are waiting for some kind of a double top formation before we can uh, aim to the downside but we're still bullish as we are still in an uptrend that's it for today i hope you learned something big boss out